Good evening, viewers. You are welcome to Zamani Cuisine. My name is Chef Ina. We have two items today to make. One is mayonnaise, and the second one is German potato salad. As we continue, we'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome back to Zamani Cuisine. My name is Chef Ina. I'm here to introduce to you the items used to make mayonnaise. Number one item we use for mayonnaise is vinegar. The second one is mustard. And the third one here we have chili sauce or Tabasco sauce as we can say. We also have salt to spice it or to make it tasty. We have egg, which is also a base for it. Sugar also to correct the seasoning. And we have also white pepper here, which makes it a bit mild and spicy. Welcome back to Zamani Cuisine. My name is Chef Ina. As, I, as we earlier started, we are going to start with mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is a base sauce, a big base sauce to every salad, every hotel, every cuisine. From mayonnaise, we can get cocktail sauce. From mayonnaise, we can get, get a thousand island. From mayonnaise, we can get Russian dressing. From mayonnaise, we can get French dressing. You can see how big it is. On and on and on. So mayonnaise is a big base sauce as far as hotel and house or uh, uh, restaurant is concerned. Watch as we make mayonnaise. And we're going to start with breaking up our egg. This is the egg. So as I said, we're starting with breaking up egg. So the egg yolk is all I need. So I remove my egg white. From the yolk, you can see. I put the yolk here and the shell I throw. So, one egg is the second egg. Shell out. This is the third egg. And the shell we throw in the garbage and lastly this is the fourth egg because we are not making large quantities small quantities all we need beautiful so my mayonnaise is going on and the, the white one i don't need i put it aside egg also for now i don't need i drop it aside so the are, both of them are removed and the egg is removed the egg white is separated and the egg yolk is here. So the egg yolk now I put it here. Hope you're watching. So the, pro, the second process is the mustard. You can see this is mustard. Makes it spicy, it's strong. But at the end of it all, that is what makes it, gives it good taste. So remove it and close it back. Then you press. Needs a lot of mustard. It's okay for four eggs. It's okay. The next step is a uh, white vinegar. Vinegar. We have different categories of vinegar, but all we need here is just a white one, plain white vinegar. So you open it. It's strong. So you have to be careful how much you put. 
It's okay. Because of the strength. Put it aside. We also have a chili sauce, hot sauce. So in place of Tabasco, this one is a bit stronger. So we use hot chili. A bit strong, so we have to control it. It's okay. I also have my sugar here. Anytime you're using vinegar, you have to use sugar to reduce the strength. Because vinegar is very, very strong for the tongue. So add sugar to it. Probably two spoons should be okay. White pepper is also here. Mild, nice, and tasty. So I put, add my white pepper. It's okay. Then lastly, salt. We don't need so much of salt. Everything is small, small with salt. Because nobody wants to eat lots of salt these days. Little salt, a pinch of it. Perfect. So with the, all, all this together, we're going to miss. We're going to mix them together. By the time we start mixing, we're going to use oil as a big base to mix them. Finally, the whole, almost everything here is ready. The egg is here. The mustard is here. The chili sauce is here. Vinegar is here. Salt, sugar. So we are ready. The, now we're going to bring our oil out. The oil is a big base. Mayonnaise does not go without oil. So as we are Whisking it, I'm putting my oil. So mayonnaise is an oil dressing, as simple as ABCD, with vinegar. So my, this is my oil here. Vegetable oil. This is my oil, vegetable oil. Not olive oil, normal vegetable oil. So this is the process of making mayonnaise. Watch. So you, first of all, you whisk very well. This every ingredient they have to be properly whisked. Can you see? Then it's, when it's, when it's properly whisked, you start to add your oil gradually, slowly. So the harmonies is ready. Consistency is good. Perfect. Ready? Now you can see the harmonies is ready. And you can see the consistency is beautiful. And very perfect. Also the taste now is wonderful. By the time we taste it. At the end of it all, this is how to make mountains. They are true with the mountains. This is a big, big base of every sauce as far as the major kitchen is concerned. Earlier I told you from mountains we can make cocktail sauce. We can make a thousand nylon. We can also make French dressing. We can make Russian dressing from mountains. We can make, also make American ranch dressing from mountains. You can see how much we can make from mountains. This one has become a big base to every sauce, most of the major sauce as far as kitchen is concerned. But for now you can see it's really beautiful, good color. Everything is perfect with this. We are done with the mayonnaise. But before we go on with the jam and potato salad, we'll be right back. Thank you. These are the items needed to make jamam potato salad. You can see potato is the name and potato is the base. A lot of potato. Irish potato, not sweet potato. We also have for garnish, usually red, yellow, and green pepper. Makes it beautiful to give it some color. 
The cucumber also is here. We use it for garnish. We create something with it nicely as, an, as a chef and as an artist chef. We have tuna fish. Also, to, to finish it up with a bit of fish test because we need to be creative. We cannot remain the same. We have to improve on the salad. Onion, as you can see, is here. It's a major base. Most of the salad goes with onion, makes it a bit strong. And also, the taste comes out very right and a bit crunchy and nice. Tomato is here. We use it for garnish because red is beautiful color. At the end of it, you see how beautiful it will look. Then we have the red cabbage. The red cabbage, a lot of people don't even know it. But by the time we finish with it, you see, you see how beautiful it looks. It's also to make the presentation beautiful. We also have here the celery. Instead of using parsley, we choose to use celery. We have to be creative. We have to diversify and make our work unique. Then we have cornichos. This cornichos is meat pickle. It's nicely pickled. This one will give it fine taste. By the time we work with this, the taste will come out a little sour, beautiful. And by the time you see it, you love it and it will be wonderful. Then we have uh, also here the cold cut. The cold cut is meat. So this one is it's a beef cold cut, beef luncheon. It's beef cold cut. So we use it by the time we finish with it, see that. The cold cut and the potato work together. You eat it, say wow. And lastly, we have the olive shine. All our work here goes with olive shine. So at the end of it, when we finish the work from far, you see it's beautiful and shiny, eh? like a glass. All, all these are the necessary things we need to make maize and German potato salad. As we continue, we'll be right back. Welcome again to Zamani Cuisine. My name is Chef Ina. For now, we are going to do German potato salad. But to do German potato salad, we have to start by cutting our vegetables. And the first vegetable we need to cut and boil is potato, because that's the big base of it. Here is my potato here. I'm going to cut them into cubes. We have different kinds of cutting. We say sometimes we say julienne, sometimes we say cubes, but this one is cube. You can see that the potato is cut into cubes already. And my bowl here is not necessary to be here. I have to remove it. Now we are going to go into the process of boiling the potato. I have to bring my pot closer. To stuff my potato inside, you can see. This should be able to give us four basic salad. Potato salad. Here is my water. I'm going to put my water inside before the salt. Then we continue cutting the vegetables in preparation for the salad. So the water is here. Now that my potato is ready, water inside. The next process is to put my salt. Here is my salt. So you must boil it with salt so it will be tasty. With the large water, two spoons of salt should be okay. Perfect. It's enough. I drop it at the side. And the next process again is to cook it. So I'm going to pick it from here and put it on the stove. Mm. 
And lastly, I will cover it to make it steam and cook fast in 25 to 30 minutes. That one is done. This one out of this place because it's not necessary here. So we are going to go into the process of cutting. Also creating our garnishes and making sure we have this salad beautiful. So the first we are going to do is the onion. Let me go wash my hand, clean myself up as we are talking about hygiene every minute. You can see we're wearing hand gloves, making sure our bare hand does not touch any food. This is my onion. How to remove them? Remove it from here. These are not necessary. Out. See how nice it's looking. So out. First of all, I need some chopped onion as a base of my sauce for the salad. It should be okay. So I have to chop this. One second is chopped. Of my salad. Not only this, I'm going to continue chopping. This one here, I put in a glass bowl. I have a glass bowl here. Onion is chopped. The next process is also chopping my cornish or minced pickles, which gives it sweet and a bit sour taste. No, I don't need it for now. I'll use it after. Every good cooking has to pass through a good process. That's the only way you can get good result. And all cooking have process. I'm using the beautiful chopped cornichos. You can see how I chop them. My pickled onion is roughly chopped, very good for our work. So this is my glass bowl again. So I pack them and then stuff it inside. All these are process of making the beautiful sauce for our salad. Cover this, this one is out for now. The next process is my beef. You can see my beef here. Okay, this is my beef lunch on beef cold cut. You can see it. Another process now is hard to remove it. This is enough for us for four portion. Keep aside this one, it's not necessary for now. So this one make into cubes.
All these are base for our sauce. We're almost done with the sauce. We have to go now cooking the sauce. So the next process for us to make a sauce, a fast sauce, does not take any two, three minutes, the sauce is ready. So I'm going to So leave this one a bit, try to be strong. It will get a bit uh, hot, hotter, before I start to saute them, because I cannot saute in a cold oil. While my olive oil is on fire, I will go fastly to check my potato if it is cooked. I don't want it to be overcooked. I want it to be nicely, freshly cooked. So watch why I check. It's a bit strong. I need about 10 minutes for this potato to cook. So in the process, we go first with the meat. Then the onion, also. We have to spice it up. This is my seasoning powder, and I add small of this to give it very good taste. Yes. Give it some taste. White pepper also, I have it here. Little white pepper to give it good taste. I have my mustard here, as I earlier told you, mustard goes with it. We need to add some little chili, hot chili. My hot chili is here. The sauce is two minutes, the sauce is ready. Meanwhile, I check my potato if it is cooked. My potato is cooked and my sauce is ready. Everything is almost ready in 10, 20 minutes time. We should be true with this process. Okay, as we continue, we'll be right back. Welcome again to Zamani Cuisine. My name is Chef Hina. As you can see, we are still in the process of making German potato salad. Now the potato is boiled, the sauce is ready. All we need now is to strain the potato from the water before we continue to cut, to present, to create and make it beautiful, fantastic and good looking. This is my potato. I have my strainer down here, also ready. I'm going to strain it. I'm going to use my spoon to remove the potato. I'm removing it stage, step by step. Now 
it's properly strained. So this water is not necessary out of this place. This is my bowl for the mixing of the German potato salad. So now that the potato is strained, nicely strained, I put it in my bowl. Put them. So the next stage now is to prepare my garnish. The sauce is ready. So maybe 10 minutes time the salad is ready. My garnish is simple. Simple garnish today. I have four plates, four good platters and pl or plates to, to decorate. So it's my yellow bell pepper. I have to clean my bell pepper nicely into four plates. So one for one plate. I also have my green pepper here. You clean it up. You can also use your hand to make sure it's clean, properly clean. I have my yellow bell peppers. And then the green bell peppers. The cucumber also, I want to use them for garnish. You need to use a very sharp knife for all this. Your knife is not sharp, you cannot get a result. You can see my cucumber. So I make it like a crab. You can see how fast I'm doing it. You know, everything has to be good practice. You can see one and the fourth one ready. They are all ready. I need a bowl to put them. Maybe this bowl should be okay for me because I need to use the onion right away. One, two, three, seventh, and then the eighth. We're almost there. The onion also, I kept this onion because I need to make a ring out of it. That's why I kept this particular onion. So watch me while I make my ring. I have more than enough onion rings for our garnish. There's a tomato here. We need also need it for garnish. I have my small knife here, which is used for creativity for decoration. This is a knife for carving. So you can see what I do with the tomato, but simple as ABCD. You press it. Then start to press the tomato with your thumb. You are pressing and you are cutting. You can see the tomato will almost stand on its own. That's the idea. Like a flower. The tomato is ready. You can see them looking like flour. You keep them aside. All for decoration. So the next stage is cutting the red cabbage. You can see. A lot of people wonder what red cabbage is doing here. But very beautiful. It makes it crispy and nice. So I have to remove it like this.
So you're true, almost true. The next one is just, this one is just a string of it everywhere to give you some taste. It's a tuna fish. I have my strainer here. And also the bowl that we carry the tuna. It's nicely strained. This is, a, this is our tuna here, which is strained tuna. Can you see? You can see our finished preparation of the salad. Everything is ready. As we continue, we'll be right back. Thank you. You are welcome back to Zamani Cuisine. As you can see, we are good getting to the tail end of our German potato salad. You can see German potato salad is a very special salad. And it's made out of potato. But the sauce is wonderful. You can see we start by making our mayonnaise. This is mayonnaise. Part of the sauce. Specially prepared. Tasty, nice, and high quality. We also have our potato boiled and soft, soft nicely so that it can be easily eaten. This is potato, boiled one with salt, as I told you. Taste is nice with salt. And I have here also a specially made sauce for it. You can see the sauce, the base of the sauce is cold cut, chopped onion. We also have also cornichos in it, which gives it a very strong taste. We have also mustard, and also we put some spices inside to finish it very well. The sauce is tasty and nice. It's ready. You can see it. Then we're going on, we have lots of garnishes here. Yellow pepper, you can see, is pre prepared, cut. Green pepper, you can see, is cut. Tomato also is cut. We also have a tiny cucumber here, beautifully cut, you can see. Nicely created, just to garnish, to give it an elegant look. Because with the eyes, you can eat. If the eyes does not see good food, you not have appetite to eat. So we are not through. Again, we continue to cut. We have red cabbage here. Whatever we are doing here, we are thinking of color. We are thinking of how to present it so that people will see from far and say, "Wow, this is beautiful, excellent work." We have onion also sliced. To give it some crispy taste. I also have my tuna fish here. Normally you say what is tuna fish doing here? But every chef has his own idea of creativity. With this tuna fish now you eat it together with the potato. You say wow, lovely, nice, tasty and wonderful. That's why I added this. I have my also celery. Instead of me using parsley. I, as a creative chef I turn to celery. Celery have very good and strong aroma, and that's why it's here. I want to use celery today as I'm a creative man. These are the ingredients for making German potato salad. But we'll not stop here. You go with me along as we start to make them one by one. The potato first is here. Second is the sauce. You turn the sauce in the potato. You can see how I turn it. Very strong sauce. Nicely done. We have also our mayonnaise, which is ready. You can see. I'm going to take some of the mayonnaise and add into this. Have my spoons here, everywhere. There's a lot of mayonnaise, make sure it's creamy and nice.
It's nicely mixed already. Ready for presentation. I'm through with them. So I have my spoon here to present them. And also a bowl. You can see a bowl. I want to mold them to form them into a round shape. So before I put them here, I have to rub my oil to make sure it will remove. And I stuff it here. And gradually remove it. This is our last platter here. So the same process we are following. Perfect. For now we are done with the potato salad. We keep it aside. Next stage now is to present our potato salad with all the garnishes. So I have them ready here. This one is not necessary also. We keep it aside. So I have my yellow and green pepper and tomato here. We're going with the red cabbage as uh, the next garnish. One. Two. One. Are you seeing? Two. So now the color is coming out. See the one. I also have my tomato here, which I have made for four tomato. One. Two, three, four. We are almost there, but not true. I have my cucumber, which I made. I told you, small, beautiful cucumber. One. I have more of the only I can do two two. I mean it's okay. Then we're going to go. We have a uh, we have our celery here, as I said. Instead of using parsley, we choose to use celery today. A sprinkle of it, small, small. Parsley on top. Celery. Celery is out. The last but not the least is my tuna, as I told you. I need my tuna fish. This is my spoon for tuna fish. I need to add a little mayonnaise to this. Make it a bit rich and creamy. Okay, this is my tuna fish, and I'm going to mold it. As you can see, lastly, the tuna. Mousse, which is ready, nicely ready, but I have to mold it with a spoon. See my, look at my spoon. Small, small, small. Into small pieces. Not much. Three by the side. One more. See, this one here, 
the second mode by the other side. This is for the second plate. One mode. The second mode here. We continue the same process till we fill up all the plates. It's probably the last one mode. You can see our salad is. Nicely ready, nicely presented. We are through with it. So before, as we continue, we'll be right back. Once more, you're welcome to Zamani Cuisine. As you can see, we are about to conclude our work. See how beautiful it is, how elegant, how fine. The colors came out. You can see from the red cabbage, purple is there, yellow is there, red is there. I can also see some sign of green and even brown. You can see the combination of the color is wow, beautiful, elegant. German potato salad is a special salad. The whole world knows about German potato salad. Every big five-star hotel does this salad. That's why we are able to learn all this craft. Putting all this together, I can see it's, it's wow. I have the last thing I'm going to do is to make it shine. One minute, it's already done. This is specially made to make every salad, every food to shine. Is created to make it shine. It's called olive oil shine. Watch while I do it. Simple as ABCD. The idea behind this is that when anybody sees this from far, they say, wow, this is beautiful. I would love to eat this. Because one of the major things that we do, do is to make the eyes eat first before the, the mouth. If the food is not looking beautiful, nobody wants to eat. But we consider all the fat that the food must be beautiful. It must be healthy cooked. It also must be hygienically prepared. That's why I see me with my hand glove. Everything is clean and beautiful and white here. You know, in conclusion, I wish everybody have seen how great, how good, how wonderful our work is. In conclusion, this is German potato salad we have done. But we have so many exciting works we are about to continue to do. This is just the beginning with salad. We are thinking of doing even the main course, even the, the desserts, and so many creative things we have to do to make Zamani cuisine a wonderful cuisine. But for now, this is all we are done. And I would love to see you again next time. My name is Chefina. Thank you.